Hello, welcome to Ginny Joe's second drawing jam. And welcome, happy Sunday. And as you know, you voted on it, and we're gonna draw a flower. And I got to choose what kind of flower. So we're drawing the iris, the lovely iris. It's a very complicated flower, but you don't have to make it such. This is draw a sketch. From my late grandma Naylor. She was very masterful at drawing flowers, roses, peonies, irises, sunflowers. She did it all. And the woman could also grow the flowers. They're just as pretty as her paintings. They smell sweet too. She had the best house outside the outskirts of Hutchinson towards Nickerson, Kansas area with all this wonderful soil. I just loved her so much. <laughs> but, um, and she had this awesome fertile soil. She could grow those flowers and the best vegetables ever. It was a home away from home. Missed her. She was my, my grandma Naylor, my hero. But we're gonna draw the iris today. We might have to do this a two-parter because uh, these videos, you know, you can't keep attention very long. And I think we're going to add first working on the sketching of the iris. And then we're going to work on the coloring of the iris because iris is just as detailed as you want to make it. And the coloring is more important than the shape. They're both important, but the color is where it gets you. You know, you see an iris out there, uh, you notice those colors that. You know, fade or start at the at the edge of the the of the petals, and they kind of just melt towards the middle. So this is going to be a two-parter. <laughs> it's my page. I can do it. Man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to do the popular tall bearded iris. Hello, and good morning, good afternoon, evening. We're drawing the iris. So here we go. I thought I was going to do pen. But I had to work it with my 2B pencil. 2B is your basic drawing pencil. A nice color. And I know I have my hat on. This is getting warm in here. Um, he knows I have my hat. I'm dressed all properly for you. So here is the iris here. So this is the basic anatomy of an iris. You have the beard. It's the most noticeable part. All of us artists will draw you an iris with a beard facing you. Because it's just so very beautiful that way, and you know the notice that um, edges of the each petal is really like the ruffles on a ball gown. They ruffle up, so you know it's like uh, a lady of the irises of the flowers. So here's the beard right here. That's the front petals coming out. Um, also, we have. Uh, on the side, <laughs> we call these, the, the petals that come out on the side like this, it's called the fall. And that's uh, like the second most important. And then on the back, we have what we call the, let me see, I have to read my own writing. <sighs> so it's called the standard. So this is the framing petal that's opposite of the beard. And these are the fall. And then of course in the middle you have your stamen, just like the little circular parts where the pollen is, where the bee comes in and gets the pollen from the flower and fertilizes it. And of course, then you have your space. This a little part that becomes from, that hides the ovaries of the flower. Then your stem. Now, irises, you can draw them. You can do what you want. You can draw a close-up of an iris and get so detailed that it's just amazing. You can just get hypnotized by all the parts and the colors of the iris. A lot of people, as my grandma did, like she liked to do, and it's very popular, is do a grouping because when you do see irises out in the wild, that happens a lot. Little grouping of three to four irises. So keep that in mind, and really, it takes a little practice. But you can, um, like you see here, I got a little detail because, you know, I get a little bit crazy sometimes. My grandma Naylor, she made it a little bit more simple. Look at that. 
she kind of did ruffles here. She's very good at simplifying the shape. And really, you don't have to get that crazy with the iris. See? She made each one different and unique. We're gonna try to draw one today. I'm hoping to talk my friend Rita into one of these. My friend Rita, as you know, sells her lip scents. I'm hankering to get my hands on a kit for that. Not the selling kit, because I don't want one to actually sell it. But I just want some for my dance performances, yes. Hello, Shinch. Miss Hansel, and hello, Mr. Knox, not Miss Nunez. Hello, thank you for John, joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy. So, let me grab a pencil, a drawing pencil. Time to get your drawing surfaces out. Or, you know, this is what I did. I first practiced in my sketch pad. It's good to have one of these because if you ever want to draw again something like this, because you might, the iris, like if you see paintings like from Georgia O'Keeffe, she drew a lot of irises, a lot of cow skulls with irises, a lot of roses with cow skulls. You know, she drew a lot of the same things when she did different perspectives. Uh, she's one of my heroes. I love Georgia O'Keeffe. I love Rita Kahlo. I love the the um, various of the Van Gogh. Van Gogh did irises. He drew irises too in his own way. Let me select a pencil here. Sorry here. It's a Sunday fun day. Oh wait. Do I have one out? Okay. Let me see. I did have a pencil out. Yeah. Let's see. I'm just looking at my numbers. 2B is your basic kind of between medium dark. H would be a little bit lighter if you want to try it first. Right, let's see, I have my 2B out earlier. Is that my 2B right there? H will work. We'll do H for the sake of doing this. So as again, as I said with the cats and with the face, I haven't done my faces yet. We'll do that next time. I'm going to make an executive decision and do the face next. But I like to find my area of focus. Okay. For me, and you might find it different. Some people might go with a, the stamen area in the center, but I think that beard in the front leaf is going to be my focus because that's what you're going to really concentrate on. That's the true uh, like centerpiece of your painting, in my opinion. But that's what I like to start off with. So let's do it. <laughs> and I got a little. <laughs> so. You can do a basic shape first of a petal, and you can add your ruffles later on. You don't have to do it all at once, guys. Yes, why you have a nice clean eraser with that. So let's do this. So I hope you're ready. Okay. So I'm gonna do a basic shape, and I'll show. I'll draw it, and I'll show it to you. I'm not PBS. 